wild times. But yeah, so anyway, this footage just came out. It came out, I don't know, four or five days ago. It, this, this video went super viral. 42 eggs. Um, wow. You know, came from this Burmese python clutch. And uh, the bobcat was filmed eating it. And what's really cool is this is... So there's a couple things going on, right? Burmese pythons are not native to Florida Everglades, right. obviously. Right, right. So when they came in there, none of these animals knew how to deal with them. You know, because the way an animal knows how to deal with another animal is from experience. You know, right. From generational time going over and over and learning, oh, stay away from the big snake or don't stay away from the big snake because we don't have big snakes. Mm -hmm. And so with the, with the berms in the Everglades, they've eaten everything. They've done something like 90%, I forget if that's the right statistic, so don't quote me, but it's like a 90% reduction in like the meso predators. So like the skunks, raccoons, Dude, foxes, damn. Like that's fucked up. 90%. And that's due to these, these pythons and yeah. several other factors, but mostly the pythons. Now, what we're seeing here is these bob bobcats, in other words, native animals, are learning how to cope with these snakes. Mm -hmm. So this bobcat's going, hey, I can eat these white lumps that have never been here before right. in existence. And turns out they're like easy to get into, and they're squishy, and they're delicious. And if you can chase off that big, scary thing sitting on top of them, oh, yeah. I get a ton of nutrients. And... You know, so what we're seeing is sort of a balancing out of the ecosystem in a way. Wow. Because yeah. it means that they're learning how to cope with something that hasn't been there before. Sure. Maybe instead of paying the locals 40 bucks per carcass, you know, they should just start a bobcat training program. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bring Teach in more bobcats. bobcats. Well, yep. dude, also, I, I, I find it interesting. I, I didn't realize that the, the bobcat didn't fuck up the snake in that video. He just ate all the eggs, right? I think well, so. he was messing with it, and then the snake must have taken off to go off. find some food. Yep. I kind of, I mean, I get that they're invasive, but, you know, I never like to see any animals killed, so it kind of makes me feel good that he just chased them off and killed all the eggs. I, I would have rather seen him take out the snake. I'm not going to lie. I'm a sucker. Um, I, I'm is one, that, a, that bobcat's by I'm himself, the, right? I'm yeah, the guy who just, throws yeah. a fucking, who throws a, a goldfish into a lake. Yeah, ruins the lake. <laughs> ruins by the, the, by the way, here's a story for you. Um... I'm sitting sitting at a at a Brophy Brothers Santa Barbara Institution. It's where all the old salts hang out. And this guy comes in. And he's talking to the barman. And he's showing a picture that his buddy took of a lobster he caught at the end of lobster season in Marina del Rey. Mm. It's a Maine lobster. Huh. Two huge claws on it. You want to know how it got there? <laughs> yes. A restaurant. Fucking pita. I've been into how PETA are terrorists all the time. Yeah. yeah. They go down to places like that are... This is the problem with these fucking do-gooders that don't know anything. Radicals. Yeah, radicals. This is the radicals. They go down to the, the, the restaurant that has the lobster tank in it, and they, you know, cause a scene, or maybe they just peacefully buy all the lobsters. Right. But because they're idiot radicals, they take these animals that belong in the Northeast and dump them into the bay in Santa Monica and go, be free, lobster, I'm helping you. Yeah, and right. now they've created a massive invasive species problem, yeah. which I'm not saying is the case. It's probably not a big deal. But it right. could be. But it could be. Right. Because, and, they, and, they hear, and then they go home and pat themselves on the back for being wonderful champions of wildlife. Right. And <laughs> meanwhile, if you'd let those six lobster get eaten, you wouldn't have created the next you know, wildlife pandemic. Right. Right. Um, yeah, it only takes a couple animals that reproduce quickly yeah. to cause yeah. a disaster. Big time. Dude, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> the lobster thing too, and, and here's, the, here's the biggest issue, and I've said it before, with, with not just PETA, but with everything in society these days, is that, you know, this is an emotionally based move where they, you know, like you said, they go, they pat themselves on the back and they feel good about it. Right. But they don't understand that or, nor, or they don't care the damage that is happening because they haven't taken the time to actually spend maybe even just 10 minutes, maybe even like an hour. You'd certainly you could know just that, Google, that would be. Should you free Maine lobster in Marina Del Rey? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, that'll it's pop up real quick. Thing, yeah. You know? Yep. And, and, and that's like, it's such a big fucking issue. You know, it's like. There should almost be a sign on a fence where they are releasing these lobsters that says, just Google it and like put the fucking search <laughs> that term That should on probably there. be everywhere. I know. That should yeah. be instead of stoplights. It should right. be like, just Google it. Just Google um, it. It's, It'll yeah. be better. It's such a simple thing, too. That And, and I do it, too, of course. I, I, I'm guilty of this as well. I, I'll be like, why didn't I just fucking like Google how to do this? Or like, right. you know, I'll get started on something. And then I'll just be like, I should have read the instructions. I, it's so daunting, though, dude. Like, I, I try to fix stuff around the house. Yeah. 
you know, simple shit, right? The right. fucking toilet's making a noise. Like, I, w- <laughs> I want to figure out how it works and do it. Like, right. just do it myself. It's going to be faster and easier, cheaper. But if I, like, am doing something complicated, like taking apart a toilet, yeah. and the YouTube video is more than three minutes, I, I <laughs> will gone. not watch it. Yeah. 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 yeah, I just start taking it apart. Well, yep. it's hard. I mean, three minutes of... <clears throat> Of like effort, of like focused attention on a YouTube video with steps is like, uh, like what three three it's, pages of instructions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Yep. Dude, but it's I, like you could learn how to fix a toilet in ten minutes. I'm like, that's seven minutes too fucking long. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Wild times. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards video breakdowns and reviews. Check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.